Humble Trekker channel here today. What's better than that stalwart of the bushcraft community, the LK35 backpack, the SJ35. The LK35 on steroids. The SJ35 is like a big brother to the LK35. It's based on the LK70, which is the 70 litre ex Swedish military pack, whereas the LK35 is their 35 litre uh, day pack, if you want to call that, or short patrol pack. So the, uh, this SJ35, SJ stands for Hukvordera, that's a Swedish word for medic. This is specially designed for medics to use. It actually is, comes with a a 35 litre portion up here and then a bare frame portion down here which they used I'm 99% certain they used it for basically carrying around stretches their foldable stretches would go here and then they would still have 35 of pack space 35 litres of pack space up here now this actually 35 litre uh, pack it actually fills in some of the gaps some of the weaknesses on the LK 35 which people are fixing in their own way. Let's just go through the external features. First of all you've got your axe loop the same as you got in your LK35. You've got your top uh, loops for connecting equipment and then when you turn it around you'll see a very familiar looking frame and you won't be able to tell this but this is actually much, much larger than the LK35. It's difficult to see in the video and it's difficult to actually get it unless you put them side to side. Uh, you won't actually get the picture. This is a much larger frame than you've got on the LK35. The straps, the straps are actually thicker than you'll get on the LK35. They're more padded. There's a more spongy material in there. They're still not our modern uh, lightweight backpacking, really thick foam shoulder straps but they are more comfortable and then this is the real where this is a winner you get with this pack a waist belt and this waist belt is strong number one but it's also comfortable it's got a leather belt here with a buckle which you could use this leather belt in a pinch as a strop even though it's dyed leather you could probably get away with stropping in a pinch and it's attached there so one of the biggest complaints or one of the biggest mods people do to the LK35 is to put a, a waist belt on it. This SJ35 comes with it. Let's rip off that roll mat there so you can look at the frame. I've removed the roll mat now and you can see the large uh, real estate you've got down here, which is just a bare frame which you can use to attach any of your equipment. A very large tent, uh, your large roll mats, you could even attach different types of pouches down there. Just to give you an idea of size, I've got a more number two. So that fits into there. So, I mean, you've got like, I don't want to say, I don't want to get it wrong, but it's a span in my hand. Maybe that's like a eight inches of height you've got there. Height if you've got there and across, you've got a good, yeah, 18 inches. So you can get a hell of a lot of equipment down here. With your belt, you've got 35 litres up here. And this is nominal 35 litres, it's called 35, but I've filled it up now. And just to my eye and to my judgment, you're actually gonna get a lot more than 35 litres of equipment in there. This particular pack is from 1988. It's manufactured by that great Swedish manufacturer, Haglofs, which is a tremendous company, very, very high quality. And this one's never been issued. It's not my own pack. It's been lent to me by a friend of mine, Pierre. Uh, he's only just recently acquired it and he's going to be using it for when he goes out with his family he's able to attach a very large family sized tent down here and I think that's a, a, a really good use of this type of uh, backpack. Let's take a look at the internals, the large pouch. This is obviously a bucket style pack. Uh, you just come with a large flap, large roomy flap. Let's take one more look at these straps on top. 
you can use for attaching your sleeping bag or whatever you know it's totally flexible no rules there's a little place there you can put your name if you wanted to if you forget what you're called looking inside it it's a very large bucket you just ram all your stuff down there there's one sleeve type affair here which you can use uh, to keep whatever smaller equipment or gear separate and of course you've got the very cool not so practical actually i don't think it's that practical but there you go this metal drawstring fastener thing it works but uh, it's kind of uh, idiosyncratic so that's the inside you've got your loop there for your axe which then goes down there to secure it totally the material on this is a waterproofed uh, canvas Cadora possibly very tough very waterproof and excellent stitching all the way through it great Swedish Hagloff's quality summing up I think this SJ35L is a tremendous pack if you like the AK35 you're going to love this it's got more comfortable strapping it's got a larger frame more possibilities for attaching equipment to the frame you've still got your big 35 pack up here and you've got the waist belt thanks for watching if you're interested in getting one of these keep your eye out on the uh, internet i'll put a link down below uh, to a place you can get it in sweden i don't know how easily available it is internationally but i know you guys are resourceful you can find your own way and you'll be able to find one of these sj35 l's if you really want one take care guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video smash down on that subscribe button and i'll see you next time I want to give you a side-by-side -side with the LK35. The LK35 is on the left, the SJ35 is on the right. So you can see from this angle, the SJ35 is a little taller, a little wider. Let's turn them around, then you can look at the frames and that gives you the real viewpoint of the difference in the size. The SJ35 is on the right. You can see it's a much wider pack frame and it's much, much longer. If we line them up here, so we go there and then we bring it down, you can see there's about an extra four inches in, in length and if I put the 35 here, you can see the pack, the frame is about an inch, an inch and a half wider. It's not so clear guys, but uh, trust me on that one. It's a much bigger pack. Just a comparison. On the straps you see the thickness there. A little bit. And you see here, much thicker. And I'm gonna call that about twice as thick on the straps. And of course, no comparison on the, on the waist area. Nothing here. A nice, strong, padded waist strap on the SJ35.